532 in a matter of hours, jurors in the trial of Buffalo officer Corey Krug returned to the federal courthouse. They've already reached a partial verdict, but they're still deadlocked on one of four counts. And seven Eyewitness News reporter Twilon Nugent is live outside the courthouse right now. Twilon, tell us where things stand. Yeah, the judge wants them to keep deliberating, although we don't know exactly what that count is. Now, we, we will have to wait until at least today or longer to know the full verdict on all four charges he's facing. The four charges Krug is facing, three counts of excessive force and one for falsifying documents. One of those incidents of excessive force was caught on camera by 7 Eyewitness News on Thanksgiving Eve of 2014. The video of that incident shows Krug pushing a man into a car, then to the ground ground on Chippewa Street, then hitting that man with his baton. That man was never arrested and never charged with a crime. Last week, the jury asked for readback testimony from a witness to that incident. Yesterday, the judge excused a jury member for medical reasons, so the trial continued with 11 jurors. Throughout this two-week trial, prosecutors have painted a picture of Krug as a bully with a badge. Krug and his attorneys have argued the use of force in each of these three cases was justified. They say throughout the his 20-year career with the Buffalo Police Department, he has been assigned to some of the, quote, toughest beats in the city. Now, if Krug is convicted, he could face 10 years in prison. Live in downtown Buffalo, I'm Twilon Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Twilon, thank you. Well,